Whoa. That, that took a surprisingly grim uh, turn. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited to start diving into another video today. Kind of um, deconstruct the video for the warnings. 21st century blood. Um, this actually came requested by some of the viewers uh, and commenters on uh, my other videos. Like I've seen them be like I've seen this song be recommended on a number of my videos. So I'm, I'm really curious to check it out and see what you guys like about it so much. My name is Melinda Reaper. I am a filmmaker. I'm a writer director. I do horror films. I'm currently working on an Amazon TV show and uh, as an assistant to a, to a director to learn more myself. I'm always learning. Really excited to finally work on like a studio project. That is actually also the reason why I am recording a ton of these videos at the same time, just so that I have something for you while I'm on set. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a crazy month. This is all of my uh, videos for April. And um, anyway, really excited to check out the warning and let's dive into it. Okay, uh, some first impressions real quick before we get into the music. This seems like a proper short film. That's so cool. There's uh, definitely like an, some extra cinematic effects that they've used it uh, here to make it uh, look more like an actual movie. For example, the 239 uh, aspect ratio, 239 to 1, which is the where they where they put the black bands at the top and the bottom so that it looks more like a widescreen and that's really cool i love that it's um also the color grading looks very cinematic the everything looks very smooth i'm sure that they used like proper cinema cameras for this also what's with these phones the glass bits like they you know burned in some of these uh uh, the stuff happening on the screen on whatever glass I wonder how they did that like that's really cool I love that and um, awesome so beautiful shots like we're we're having some of the uh, what they call Dutch angle uh, shots where we're sort of off kilter uh, not straight like we're not straight to the horizon so that looks really cool I love the blue tones here so we're either at night or uh well it's definitely in a dark parking garage so Okay, the music starts. So cool. Just some more thoughts. They're all blindfolded as they're typing. That is such a cool touch. Very cool. Like Nightwish in their video Noise did this too. It's like, are we blinded to the world around us as we're focusing on our phones? Is that kind of the point that they're wanting to make here? And also these, these kind of goons, right? They look like they're completely masked and they can't really see as they're dragging this guy. I wonder who it is and there was the gun. Just a lot going on here. A lot of, you know, setting up for what I'm sure we're going to see down the line as this video starts. Then we see 
this woman and that's the first time we are also seeing some more warm tones so i love that switch to you know this is definitely like a separate uh, part of the video which usually in these music videos they will have like the band playing and that always has like a different tonal value uh, uh, and 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 colors than you know the story that they're telling because the, they usually have two elements so yeah okay let's continue watching Cool. Okay, so this is really reminding me a lot of that Nightwish video, the noise one. And I believe this one's a lot older than that one. Um, neat. I love these sort of glass iPhones like we're seeing here. Uh, and I think that I was right about, you know, what they're trying to say. Because all of these people are now, you know, blindfolded as they're watching their screens, they're looking at their monitors, their phones, like even both at the same time. No one's really paying attention to the rest of the world. And again, what's really reminding me of noise is where the baby actually gets put into this sort of MRI machine. It gets the, the blindfold and they start playing war images, which again is, is, is like much like the noise video where, you know, already when you're a tiny, a tiny baby, like you get, you're exposed to all of these images. Like we remember growing up without being surrounded by images and video and all of that stuff. And these kids, like nowadays, if, you, if you're a baby now, like that's some of the, like <laughs> I know someone's baby, uh, a, a friend of mine whose baby was able to say skip before they knew how to say daddy or mommy, you know? it's it's a weird reality we live in nowadays like that's that's the strangest thing and then um what i'm also really loving here is the all of the little special effects like the sort of sci-fi like this phone but also on this sort of mri machine or incubation machine sort of like almost matrix style with the the circle on it and it said ready very cool loving all of that and also like the blue lights with that too like it definitely gives it that almost like minority report kind of vibe to it and then contrasting to the really warm toned um, bits where the band is playing and all of that even like in a lot of these videos we see like quite a bit of camera movement like swift editing and here the camera movement is very restrained on the band and also the editing is like there's not like a million cuts going on like you sometimes see with rock or metal videos so it's, it's fair it's it, it is pretty restrained in a lot of ways and I, I like that and to me that's also a difference between um because i believe the guy who shot this i think his name is abraham marco the director is actually i think he does film as well as like music videos but it feels more like a short film and that's also more like how it's been cut so to me, that's very interesting. It's, it's a difference. Like there's a different approach there, I feel.
Beautiful. And definitely on point, right? So we are seeing him. Uh, he can no longer log into his whatever profile that he was using and gets a little bit of a mild panic attack. And then he finally takes off his blindfold and we see some of like the beautiful um, outdoors imagery. Like we, he, he sees some of what's outside, what's beyond. And then he looks around him and he's in this office and everyone's looking at their screens blindfolded still. And that's really fun. That's great. That's uh, what a interesting way of portraying this image or this idea as well. I love the blindfolding and taking it off. It's a little bit literal maybe, but it's really, really, really nice. And now he's he seemed really, like he wasn't straight up crying, but he was definitely like emotional about it. It's like, wow, is that what I've been doing and wasting my time looking at my screens? And band is still playing in the background, still very, you know, same, not much is happening like in terms of like progression in, in the way that it's shot. Um, but definitely like all of these shots that we see in the office are quite beautifully composed. So I really liked, um, let me see, really love this shot. And we get some sort of solar flares as well. Not solar flares. Ugh, can't recall what they're named. I'll put it in the edit. But there's... I, I love here also, it's like the first time that in the scenes of this guy that we're seeing some warm tones, like it was all blue tones, all cool tones before. And now that he's taken off his blindfold, it's the first time that we're seeing some warm tones. So that's really beautiful. I love, again, the sort of, you know, corporate situation that we're in. And also I, I really love the composition of these shots where it's uh, it, the camera's positioned really well and we have this sort of beautiful thirds like we have the two chairs and the person on the right um, and uh, on, on like the thirds of the screen and then he's in the middle and he's he was looking out and now he's tur he's going to turn around and he's going to see the office but I really love the composition of this shot in particular it's really beautiful. Whoa, that, that took a surprisingly grim uh, turn. So he realizes that he's been sort of caught in this online world all this time. I'm getting very strong Matrix vibe, by the way, now that we saw the agents again with the socks over their head. It's like, oh, he's been unplugged from the Matrix and now he's got the agents coming for him. Um, crazy and then he is on the roof apparently I wasn't like I wasn't aware that it was a roof at first you're, it's not really clear and then he jumps off wow that's really grim footage and a lot of times when they portray a footage like that they don't actually show them falling because it's quite extensive to actually shoot that um, and this was done in VFX probably otherwise they would use dummies that kind of thing still a very grim choice to make it's like so the girl, guy's unplugged and instead of you know now being able to enjoy the world he commits suicide so is he just maybe he wanted back in but he couldn't so he commits suicide or is he like oh i wasted all my life so now i'll just end my life either way that to me is a, is a a very grim narrative sort of direction to take it 
and uh, what I do really like, by the way, was the shots of the guitar player with the sunset. That was beautiful, beautifully shot. Just stunning footage of the setting sun over the hills or mountains. And I wonder where this was shot. Uh, it could be LA. I'm, I'm not entirely sure where this is. I don't know actually where the warning is from, but it, it looks very nice. And now, okay, so this guy's fallen off the roof and a woman uh, actually trips over him <laughs> when he's fallen. <laughs> Again, it's, it's a little comedic. Uh, and she falls and her phone falls from her hand and she's offline. And now she's probably going to realize, you know, okay, so all of this stuff is around me. Um, and, and maybe she'll, like, continue that cycle too. I hope that doesn't lead to suicide either. But we'll see. Okay, love the ending. I'm glad the guy wasn't dead. Um, that's actually really cool that he stood back up and the three of them, now all three are awoken or awakened, right? And um, they turn around and they're looking at us. Basically, again, as, as if in warning and also we saw on like the final screen, it says you've been warned by whatever brand that sponsored this video, but um, you've been warned by these people. It's like maybe, I mean, the irony is you know, we, we said this in the noise video too, it's like, okay, the irony is that we're watching this on our phones. You're watching me on your phone now, probably, or on like whatever monitor that you're looking at. So maybe we should take their message and maybe we're just gonna put down our phones and maybe enjoy the outdoors a bit. <laughs> That's what we're gonna take away from this. Um, we're reminded, go out and, and enjoy the world and, and don't get absorbed into your phone all the time love this video and i love that you know as as they woke up right they they were un uh, they took off their blindfolds the world just became very warm toned like even in this final shot like of these three people they're bathed in sunlight and it's it's very yellow warm toned and we don't see any of the blues anymore so love that and Love the song, actually. I hadn't heard it before, so this was really fun. I'm, as I said, I'm not familiar with the warning. Um, but this was a great video. Really enjoyed that. Let me know what you think and what you think of their message. And um, let me know if you know where this was shot. Is there maybe a making of video of this? If so, please share it in the comments because I always love watching these. And anyway, I really enjoyed this. Thank you for the recommendation. And I hope you'll join me for the next one. Peace.